Okay, student, let's see what is there in this question. A radius of Earth is R. A satellite is launched to a height of this above the Earth's surface. What is the gravitational force on the satellite at the surface and the gravitational force on the satellite at the height edge? Gravitational force literally means the weight. Okay, like the gravity, you can say, or mg. So eventually it is, you can say acceleration due to gravity or you can say gravitational force, one is the same thing. But anyways, gravitational force is given by gmm by r square. And from this, we can even drive the formula for the uh, expression for the acceleration due to gravity, which will be gm divided by r square. Only the m is not there, otherwise the expression is totally same. So the gravitational force on the satellite at the surface, it will be given by this, like I'm talking only about uh, the gravitational acceleration. So R will be equal to capital R. So, or we can keep it simple. The gravitational force at the surface, it will be given by GMM by capital R square. And the force at the height H, it will be given by GMM divided by now, we would be taking the total radius of the orbit, like the radius of the orbit means uh, from the center of the Earth, we will take the radius and then the height. So it will be given by R plus H whole square. That will be the gravitational force on the satellite. Okay, so we want to take the ratio here. So Fs divided by Fh, this is what we want. It is coming out to be equal to R plus H divided by R whole square, isn't it? This will be the thing that we are going to do. Now, H is given as R by 4. Plug in the value. Okay, so this will become 5R by 4 divided by R. Whole square. Please be careful about the algebra that we are doing. So, do not get confused. So, LCM is taken only in the numerator. It becomes 5r by 4 and this is the bigger one like this is r r by 1 or something now the reciprocal of this will be taken it will become 5r by 4 and this r by 1 it will be reciprocal it will become 1 by r and it will be multiplied here and square will remain here so r and r gets cancelled out so your answer is coming out to be 25 divided by 16 clearly c will be the correct answer this is how we will do this. I have not explained the algebra in a bit more details. I could have gone there. But anyways, I believe you will understand this. If there is any problem in this, please mention that in the comment section, no problem. So I will again put the, put the video again. So the answer for this will be C. Let's see what is the answer. Yes, according to the mark scheme also, the answer is C. This is how we do this question. So in these kind of questions, I tell you many a times what students do is they usually in place of uh, r plus r by 4 usually they take r by 4 itself and that is the point where they are mistaken okay so be very careful this is professor Moon. thanks for watching the video